Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I will be conducting a full day wear test, demo, comparisons on the brand new Gucci Natural Finish Foundation. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will give me that opportunity. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know all the details about this foundation, how it works on dry, sensitive, mature skin on a full day wear test then just keep on watching today is a day for gucci and i'm super excited for this new gucci release they just released a foundation and a primer and why i'm so excited i'm mean, like all 2020 i have been raving about their bronzer their setting powder their brow product their lipsticks are amazing i mean it has been a release after the other one that they had been really really good and i'm just super excited again for this new release as soon as i saw those like foundations are here wow and wait a minute 40 shades what i mean like that's amazing for a luxury brand to come with 40 shades we have only seen it lately this year with tom ford and chanel they had to step it up and it, this, that just makes me super happy i mean dior also has certain foundations that they have a really nice shade range so i mean we're seeing improvement right here more inclusivity and that just makes me again extremely happy so i purchased these foundations foundation on Gucci's website and this is not the first time that I buy it from Gucci's website in fact if you have been following me you know that I have purchased twice Annabelle nail polish that's my favorite one although I'm not wearing it today but that's okay that's okay and they have really good customer service they cheap super fast honestly because I have mentioned to you before I haven't been feeling like my best and I really do not want to pressure on me you know trying to get reviews up and whatnot I want to just take a deep breath and you know make sure my health is taken care of so I decided to do not pay extra for cheaping and it actually arrived fairly fast too and as per usual packaging beautiful it came in this little canvas bag I went ahead and purchased just the foundation right here and the reason why I did that is because to begin with I don't feel I need another primer and second of all I was like you know what let me just wait a second because both the foundation and the primer they are right now up on Sephora's website so I said you know what if I really want to try the primer January 1st I think that's the date I'm pretty sure they're gonna be available online at Sephora website right now you can actually check it out if you are trying to find you know your perfect match because I will have to say oh and by the way they also sent me another cute little bag that says Gucci honestly <laughs> Don't take it as an offense, but these type of bags reminds me in Peru and in Italy, we have these, you know, canvas bags to actually purchase our bread <laughs> every day fresh. So, I mean, it's cute. It's cute and I can use it for, you know, something else. But I think this is a really cute, beautiful touch right here. And also, if you're planning to gift it as a present, I mean, it's a beautiful present nonetheless obviously is Gucci right here, right? I mean, <laughs> uh, who doesn't want a bag from Gucci, right? Even if it's a little canvas bag. Okay, my friends, so like I was telling to you, right now you can check at Sephora's website too for shade matching because I have to be completely honest. As far as lipstick goes, when I go to Gucci's website, it's easy to determine, you know, which shade could be for me and whatnot, but this time around the foundation it was kind of hard they show an image of a person using it which I love that I really appreciate because that's the best way to actually determine if a foundation shade is right for you or not you know actually seeing a model wearing it but if you see the side by side the model and the swatch of the foundation just on a white you know like um, background Mm, it, there's a big difference right there the foundation look deeper while the model look very you know like in, more fair in tone so it was a little bit difficult I jumped into Sephora's website to kind of find my perfect shade match and Sephora's shade finder wasn't really you know yet updated and working for this foundation 
So it was a little bit hard, but the good thing about Sephora is that they have exactly the shade name, not only the shade number, but also the shade name with a description. So that was a little bit better on those terms. So I will leave all the links of everything that I will be using today on the description box below. Also, you know, this foundation from Gucci's website, from Sephora's website, so that way you can take a look at it. Okay, friends, without talking that much, I went ahead and purchased the foundation. Here it is. This is the little unicorn right here. I mean, branding is still the same. You know, I really like it. This matte kind of carton box, corrugated right here, really nice. I mean, very sleek, you know, simplistic. That's what it is. Now, this is a natural finish foundation. It does have buildable coverage, light to medium coverage for the most part. It is supposed to be lightweight, also hydrating. It's a vegan formula. It's made in Italy. We already spoke about that it. it comes in 40 different shades. The good thing here is that they also come in olive tones. And in fact, this is really weird. I never purchased olive tones for the most part, but I got an olive tone. So this is 250 olive and hopefully it's a good match because like I said I had some trouble right here to find out the good match again this is made in Italy it has a shelf life of 12 months so let's just go ahead and open it up and let me show it to you how it looks like from the inside so here is the bottle it's a glass bottle really nice frosted glass and then the cup this is plastic or heavy plastic and it comes with a pump that's great. I love the imprint all in gold. I mean, the packaging is super pretty. I know a lot of people compare it. Oh, it look a lot like Fenty. It does look a lot like Fenty. I think it's just, it's just a new take on packaging. I mean, like we have seen also Rare Beauty right here. I mean, not the same, but kind of that, you know, frosty, very sleek, using again, these blush shades, colors, I mean, Typical, I think typical nowadays to see these type of packaging. But I will have to say very, very pretty. And you know what? I have high expectations because it says that it's blurring, that it's hydrating. Uh, I mean, everything sounds wonderful. Hopefully it blurs my skin. Okay, friends, if you're new here to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. I am 41 years old, so I have more of mature skin. I do have freckles. I do have a large force right here, fine lines right here, cross feet right here. I mean, signs of aging are real right here. I don't have any Botox at the moment or fillers or anything like that. I do film also in natural light. So hopefully this will give you the best interpretation about how it looks, the foundation on, you know, if you were to see it, you know, in real life. Hopefully that's so. And also I do live in California. So that being said, I live in a climate, I mean, I'm close to the coastline, but it's still a little bit dry. It's windy. Today is around the 50s. In fact, right now it is, let me tell you the time. Okay, it's 7.45 in the morning. So it's fairly early. So we're gonna do a full day work test and see how this foundation acts on me. So let's go ahead and get started right here. Oh, and by the way, I do have a lot of freckles. I do have a few sun spots right here and right here. They are not very like, you know, like too much, but I do not like to cover my freckles. I usually say I like to come flash them and that's what we're gonna do. And by the way, this foundation too is dermatologist tested. As you can tell, it's not liquidy. It feels more like substantial. Let's just, okay. This is more creamy-like. Feels very refreshing. There you go. And it has, the one that I have has more of a yellow hue, which is not my favorite kind. And this one right here, per description, it says that it's a fair medium. Like I said, I'm used, I'm a light to medium skin tone. I will be leaving all my foundation matches on the description box below for your convenience. And I will do some swatches right here. I'm just gonna keep this swatch right here to see if it oxidizes or not. And let's start with the application. Let me just bring you a little bit closer. I'm gonna use my Tatcha the Liquid Seal Canvas on this side right here. And then on this side right here, I'm not gonna use anything. I will just do it on bare skin. 
So again, the touch of silk canvas, and I'm not gonna use it everywhere. I usually use this much, tiny amount, and I'm just gonna place it right here on my enlarged pores. So let's first go with what I will say is a third of a pump. I do have just a little bit of redness right here. For this area here, I'm using my Dose of Color sponge. And then as far as the ingredients goes, the first ingredient is water. Then it does have dimethicone. It also has all the way to the bottom some fragrance, and this is very common. Fragrance wise, I'm not too bothered about fragrance, but it's very alike if you have the, your bronzer, Gucci bronzer, that same fragrance. Kind of like a very refreshing, not too floral, but uh, has a little bit of floral, but mostly kind of like citrusy. That being said, this foundation, it does have citronellul, limonene, and lanolin. So it does have some oils in it. First impression, it looks natural, kind of like a natural matte finish. I do have dry skin and sensitive skin too. And for my likes, I usually like foundations that they have a little bit more of like a radiance to it. A, not super glowy, but that they do have a little bit of a glow. And definitely this one is, isn't like that. Okay, I'm going to take the same amount and I'm going to spread it on this side of my face, but I'm going to use a brush. I'm just gonna build it up just a little bit on the areas that I feel I need a little bit more coverage. I hope the camera is able to show you, but right here where I apply the Touch of Silk canvas, it smoothed out those pores area, and I don't find the foundation to be 100% blurring. I'm not saying that it's emphasizing my enlarged pores, but I can see these little dots, you know? And the foundation looks a little bit dry. Considering I do have dry skin, it's very early morning and I have already done my skincare, all my prep, so not sure if I'm really liking it from the get-go. It has a natural finish, but it could be a little bit better. Okay friends, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup off camera. I may show you when I'm applying the bronzer blush. I'm gonna skip on the highlighter because I don't want, you know, like to have any luminosity on my face that may get confused on, you know, how the foundation is really looking like, you know, without, you know, any highlighter. Same thing with a blush. I'm gonna use a matte blush and I don't feel that I need to set my makeup because like I said, this foundation, it feels like it's not tacky anymore. It's not transferring. It had already set and usually I don't set my makeup. The only thing that I will set, it will be my concealer under my eyes. Okay, friends, I will see you in a little after I'm done with my makeup. Before I continue with my makeup, I want to show you the finish on my hand of this foundation. And I want to go ahead and compare it right now so that way the other foundations also dry down with this Tone 4, the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. I think this foundation is more luminous than the one from Gucci. But let me just go ahead and swatch it and then that way I will let it dry and then we will talk about the finishes when I come back. Also I have right here that Chanel Levage Healthy Glow Foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and leave in the description box below also the shades of these other two foundations, the Tom Ford one and the Chanel Levage, so you can have it also as comparisons as I to other 
foundation shade matches for me but anyhow my friends I'm gonna finish my makeup off camera right now and then I will be right back with you so you can really see how everything looks together so it is right now 807 in the morning before I tell you what I think about the foundation so far first impressions after makeup application let me show to you right here the swatches as you can tell the Gucci one is a little bit more of what I call a soft matte foundation even like even if you can see the tone 4 is not completely dry but the part that is dry you can see that it still has some luminosity same thing with that uh, levage foundation right here from chanel i mean they do have a little bit more radiance to it oh and by the way i don't think i ever mentioned how much was this foundation 68 dollars which is you know like pretty um uh, pretty normal for luxury brands around the, that price tag. If it's high end, it's usually between the $45, but when we enter into luxury brands, they go 60 and up. And by the way, this foundation doesn't have any skincare properties, none of them. I mean, no claims on that side. Okay, let me get you even closer so you can see the finish of this foundation after the makeup was applied. Upon first impressions, I have to tell you that the foundation definitely is natural matte. And you know, better mining and really calling a foundation, whether it's dewy and glowy, you know, and in what spectrum it is, it's gonna depend a lot on the person who is trying it and reviewing it. I do have dry skin, and therefore this foundation looks more of a natural matte for me. Now, it does have that light to medium coverage, very close to medium coverage. I mean, talking about that I do have a lot of freckles. So for someone that doesn't have many freckles or no freckles at all, this will be definitely a medium foundation, medium coverage foundation. Now it's not a flat matte foundation. It is, like I said, a natural matte. It kind of reminds me just a little bit to the Pat McGrath foundation, but let me tell you that the Pat McGrath foundation is of a lighter coverage. Gucci has more coverage to it. And particularly for my my skin type I didn't need to set it at all I was able to go with the powder bronzer as you were able to see on the footage it didn't move the foundation I mean it was already locked into place and everything went on like super super smooth super super well I mean everything looks you know good for me now I'm not gonna go ahead and set it with any type of like you know setting a spray I'm just gonna go ahead and go out for my day and then I will go ahead and give you a couple check-ins throughout the day to see what is the longevity of this foundation and how it works throughout the day. Let me check really quick the weather because I know morning time has been really, really cold, but let's see. Okay, so it's gonna go up to about 72 degrees in my area. So it's gonna get a little bit warmer still it's a little windy you know it's not the warmth of summertime but let's see how this foundation acts so just keep on watching okay my friends so here we are for kind of like midday checking or a little bit over midday checking it's actually past past six hours since i had this foundation i mean one day right now and actually after this i think i'm gonna go for a hike so it will be really nice when i come back and can see how this foundation acts in fact it got a little bit warmer today we're in a little bit 74 degrees instead of the 72 so that's even better but anyhow my friends i just came back and just take this off okay so transfer it transferred just a little let me see if you can see it not a lot though which i'm surprised but you can see a little bit right here kind of bit a little bit right in the middle there's some foundation and sorry the sleep balm right now so anyhow here's how it's looking like the foundation i do have a little bit of redness right here right in the middle but that's something normal for me everything else is wearing fine it looks for certain areas mostly where i have the driest place on my skin it looks a little bit powdery but other than that it looks a little bit more creamy on these sides right here where i had the mask and you know where i had um a little bit of that humidity going on because you know i'm breathing in there but other than that i mean it looks very nice not super glowy like i said very natural and it kind of feels like 
like a cream now more than anything else it feels kind of like a cream okay my friends i will get going with my day like i said most likely i'm gonna go for a hike and then i will let you know how it's looking like the foundation at the end of the day so keep on watching 29 not too late but here i am i'm hiking as you can tell i mean i don't know if you can tell <laughs> i will show you another image but anyhow i'm here Whew. wow okay so let's take a quick peek close the foundation mm. see a little bit drying right here i have mia right here mia what what are you gonna say don't show me <laughs> yeah she doesn't want to be here come on mia it looks very dry it looks very drying where on your forehead and in between your eyebrows in between the eyebrows and what about here on these areas uh, it looks very like you can see all your pores i can see my pores mm -hmm. okay my enlarged pores. My enlarged pores. <laughs> okay, you see? Okay, well, that's what it looks like. All right, let's keep walking. Let's keep hiking. Hopefully I don't trip over, right? <laughs> Okay, my friends, so here we go to my final check-in. It is right now 8.12 in the evening. I came back from my hike and then I did a couple other stuff, but honestly, I'm ready to go ahead, take a shower, take this clothing off, and yeah. So here we are to the final check-in. Now, because it's so dark outside, it's dark here in the house, I had it to turn on this ring light right here. So I'm gonna get you as close as possible so you can really see how is the foundation wearing after so many hours. I mean, we're talking about 12 hours. Okay, so I will have to say that for the most part, the foundation looks super natural. Obviously, I have break a little bit of a sweat, but yet the foundation has not a slide or remove. Even though I was wearing a mask, I will have to say though, my mask, you know, sits right here. The tip of my nose, um, the foundation has removed from here, from this area right here, a little bit from this area right here. Not that much overall. I mean, it has worn really good. So it has, a, I mean, like I will have to say it's truly long wearing. I mean, we're talking about 12 hours, right? Yeah, 12 hours. So it has worn really good. Now, my driest areas on my face are mostly my forehead. This is the driest area and then on my jawline. This area right here usually is pretty normal. Same thing on this area right here. So that being said, on my forehead, I do have a lot of fine lines. So I will have to say it doesn't seed or you know crease or anything like that. It doesn't emphasize those fine lines, but it's just a little bit too dry for my likes um, on this area right here. Again, because I do have dry, dry skin on this area right here. So I will highly suggest to use a primer that is moisturizing like this Victoria Beckham one, also Bobbi Brown, Charlotte Tilbury. They do have really nice moisturizing primers. I will say that this foundation for a person like me that have dry skin, you have to either prep your skin really nice, really good with a moisturizer. Not that it's super dry, it's not like a matte, matte foundation that it will make you look, you know, like really dry and racing like, no, 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 nothing like that. But I will have to say just, you know, to just give a little bit more of that radiance look, I will say use a moisturizer primer. This foundation will be super nice for me during summertime. It will be incredible. As far as the shade, you know what, as the day progressed, it looked fairly good on me. I was surprised about it because I never thought that this shade will look good, obviously with the bronzer and whatnot. And another thing to point out too is that the bronzer and the blush, they are still, I mean, there's still traces on my cheek and that has to do a lot also with the foundation, how good is the foundation. So it really stick really well the products, which I'm super happy to report. I will have to say though that this foundation will be amazing for those who have um, I will say normal, dry to normal skin, uh, normal to oily, oily skin. I mean, I don't have oily skin, but I assume because like I said, you know, going into the hike, I break a sweat. I, I think this will work really nice for those people. At least, again, for normal to oily, I'm 100% sure. For dry skin, like I said, I don't wanna be redundant. You know, just prepping yourself a little bit more, that will be great. If you want me to tell you how I like it is to say that Chanel Le Beige, the new Sublimage, 
is not along those lines. In fact, I'm gonna insert a clip right here. I went ahead and you will see on my hand that I have the Gucci foundation, then I have the Tom Ford Soft Matte foundation, also the Levage Healthy Glow foundation, and then at last I decided it to swatch also the Pat McGrath foundation. As I mentioned to you as I was applying this foundation, I will have to say that if you have the Pat McGrath foundation, this is very alike to it, but with a little bit more coverage. And then along the day, I will have to say it feels a little bit more kind of like if you were having a little bit of a moisturizing cream. I know, interesting enough, it feels a little bit drier right here, but yet right here feels a little bit more like if, like if you had more moisture in your skin, it's a very interesting foundation. I will say overall, it's honestly, as it's described, it's a natural finish foundation, but I will add it to myself, a natural matte foundation. That's how I perceive it. I honestly enjoy it. Now that it has passed so many hours, I don't, I cannot really smell any of the scent. I think the scent perhaps linger for perhaps the first hour, but then after that, honestly, I couldn't, I mean, I'm not too sensitive to scents, but I cannot, you know, trace any scents. And then being a person with sensitive, dry skin and very reactive skin, I don't feel that I need to wash this foundation right now. In fact, it feels really comfortable. It doesn't feel tight or you know like itchy or nothing like that i mean overall a really really nice foundation and a foundation that is very to me very workable because its longevity is beautiful and if i wanted to give more radiance to it i mean i have products that i can mix in that i can definitely do that so overall really good foundation super happy that they have 40 shades available for us gucci is coming along really strong and i really like that they are not going way too fast so perhaps we will see a concealer next you know who knows who knows i don't know perhaps blushes it will be lovely to see what they will bring out 2021 and i will now love to know from you are you planning to get the foundation the primer or perhaps you have got both of them you will have to let me know on the comment section down below and while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i just think you're waiting too long i hope that you will give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell because believe me you don't want to miss any of my uploads here i bring you reviews hauls first impressions i bring you content very often and i would love for you to become part of my family it'll be also amazing if you're scrolling through instagram come and check me out at hayes jacqueline it will be amazing to grow my family also on instagram if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye, -bye.